Linda Israel here and I am working on a project. This is going to be a traveler's notebook and the theme is going to be dogs, kind of a junk journal if you will. I've got the Brutus Monroe and Friends stamp set from Brutus Monroe and then I have another set that is the Strike a Pose I think it's called. It's got all the cameras on it. What I've done prior to starting the video is I kind of thought about what I wanted to put on this title. So I have this Did Someone and then this other stamp from the photos is Say Cheese. And then I've got a little camera that I colored before I started the video. So I'm just kind of looking at this trying to decide how I want to place this on here and I think I've got it. I'm going to use my Misty to pick up those stamps. Now that I know where I want everything, I'm going to add a little magnet or two. I'm going to ink with Brutus Monroe Detail Ink. I like using the Misty because if the didn't get enough ink the first time I can go back in and do it again. I stamped the little min pin and I used zig two-way glue on the back side so now it's sticky like a sticky note. I'm going to use this as a mask over the little doggy. I'm going to stamp, this is just some grass that I had in my stash. I believe it's from Dots. It's an old stamp. I'm just going to ink this up and add a little bit of grass in the background here. I've got some Tim Holtz Crushed Olive Distressed Ink. I'm going to use that across the bottom of the piece that I'm making here. I've got Tim Holtz Distressed Ink in Tumbled Glass, and I'm going to use that across the top. I've got a couple of colors of chameleon markers and then one of the color toppers. So I'm just going to go in here and color this little men pen. Now that I've got the image colored, I'm going to place this little dynamo label that I made across here and I think I want to put the little camera down here at the bottom. Before I started the video I stamped and cut out these little ribbons so I think a little blue ribbon would be kind of cute. So there's my piece that's going to go on the front of my junk journal so I'm going to start working on the other elements that go inside. When I make a traveler's notebook, I cut my paper at eight and a quarter inches tall, and then I score four and a half, four and a quarter inches in. And if I happen to use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, I go ahead and leave this flap on here so there's that much more room to journal. So that's what I've done. I've gone through and selected some papers here. The next thing I want to do is add some more dog related stamping to it. So I'm going to get my Misty out. And all my papers are pretty much the same size as far as width is concerned. So what I like to do is just fold back and have these pages where I can stamp on them easily. So this will be my right side up and I'll put a couple of magnets to hold it in place and I place it right about the four and a half inch mark on my Misty so it's kind of centered. And then I'm gonna choose one of the stamps out of the Brutus Monroe set. And I think this little guy is kind of cute. So we're going to stamp him on a couple of the pages. So I just line that up at the top. And I may go ahead and add 
just because it's cute, just a little bone. And now I've picked that up with my stamp positioner. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and stamp this in a brown instead of the black detail ink. And I don't have a brown in Brutus Monroe. So... So let's see what tea dye looks like, if that is dark enough by Tim Holtz. I think that's good, just subtle, don't need a whole lot of color. It's enough that you know it's there, kind of like on the top of Fancy Letterhead. So we're going to use the tea dye. And I want to stamp this on a few of the pages. Now, I'm not going to stamp this on every single page because I think I want to alternate with the men pen so that they're both in here. So this one's been stamped, so I'm just going to set it aside. And then I'll pick up another one. And we'll stamp that. And I'll just keep doing this until I have all of the pages stamped. That one's not as dark. So I'm going to try the walnut stain and see if that makes it better. Yeah, okay. So there's sometimes you have to adjust and use a different color if necessary. So I've swapped out the stamps. I've put the min pin on here. I'm going to make sure I've got him somewhat straight. And I'm adding a little tennis ball beside him. And I think I'm going to use the same colors I used before. That way it's consistent throughout the journal. So this will be one page right there. And I'm going to spray these with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Got my spray box. I've decided that I want to go with greens, so I've got moss and blarney. And I'm just going to spritz this however it spritzes, and then I'll set this aside to dry and I'll work on the next one. I just sprayed several of the pages with Dazzling Diamonds Tattered Angels because I didn't want to really alter the color, but I wanted to add some shimmer and splatters. So I went through and did that to all the pages that were a color already. The next portion of this is getting all the pages in order. So I'm going to look at all these pages and determine which page I want first and so on throughout the journal. My cover is some cardstock. I picked up these dog packs a while back at Big Lots, if I remember correctly. And I'm talking probably 10 years ago that I got these. So I know that they're not available anywhere and I'm sorry, it was cute. It has glitter on it. So now what I want to do is cut this to be eight and a quarter inches tall. So I'm putting this the way that I want the hearts to appear on the cover. I want this cover to have a fold out in the front. So I'm going to score this on the opposite side at four and a quarter inches. And I'll fold this up. And then I'm going to score this front flap so that it can be tucked inside the book. Now, a traveler's notebook is what I'm making is the insert. So this cover that I'm making isn't designed for you to 
use this as the tote about cover not long term anyway because it will get beat up but you can put it inside of a traveler's notebook cover all right so i've got what i want to be the front of this i made my little card earlier and now i want to put it as a collage on here so i've got a dictionary page and just a page out of an old book try cutting this down I've got these scraps of brown cardstock laying here so I thought I would put them to use I think what I want to do with this piece of paper is we use some vintage photo and go around and give it a little brown edge I'm going to spray some dazzling diamonds over this piece that's going on my cover. I've added a little bit of true turquoise as well. I think that'll help it stand out just a little bit more on my cover. Okay, sometimes you have to lay it out and play with it until you get the collage that you like. So I think I've pretty much got this where I want it. So I'm going to work a little backwards here and start adhering these down. I will go over it with my sewing machine, but I want to kind of get it a little bit stuck into place so it doesn't move around too much. Now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch around this. I just love how sewing just adds that other element on there. And that turned out really cute. All right, so we're getting closer to putting this junk journal together. The things that I like to do next is I've got my pages laid out the way that I want them. And then I like to go through and add embellishments to them. Sometimes I will add embellishments before I bind it. Sometimes I'll do it after I bind it. Since I've already know pretty much what I want where, I'm going to do a couple more things to the inside here. I'm going to spray this with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So that it matches the rest of the book. So that every page now has had Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist on it in some way. This is the scrapbook paper. A paper it was Deja Vu. And it's got some punch outs and whatnot inside. So I'm going to go through here and find a couple of these that I like. Just getting a piece of paper out of the way. To add to the inside. So, for example, I think this best friends could go right here in the center I may want to we'll mount that there and then this could be a little tuck spot I made little triangular corner tuck spots I just took a square of text weight book page folded it in half and then I sewed around the outside of it. I also added this little piece of dog print ribbon. I made this little potuckalope. If you watch Pink Odd Bird on YouTube, she makes these. So I've made one of those and I've used a scrap of the paper that was used in the journal. I just folded it up and put that inside as a little nut note card or note space and because I glued this on the outside edge that means you'll be able to put something behind but here's what I did I just accordion folded a piece of the scrap to put inside there I'm going to use this give a dog a bone and use that as a tuck spot on the bottom so I'm going to adhere the bottom of this bone So that a note card can be put in there. 
what I have is some scraps of paper that's about four inches by, I think it's three inches, yeah, four by three. And they were just random pieces that I haven't done anything with. So I line them up in my MISTI and line up a few stamps and stamp this out. So I made a couple of those that can be cards tucked in. I'm just going to add this card here, which can be used on here let's see what I want to do oh I know what I'll do I'll put one of these flowers down and that will be my spot to tuck that card into is that an awkward angle trying to get this out of there so I think that could go right there so we're gonna see how well I can do this I made a little flag using some book page. It was a scrap left over and now I found one of these hearts that was in the scrapbook paper and tied it all together to the book. I've got my pages where I want them as far as the order is concerned. They're stacked up neatly in here. I've got a couple of jumbo paper clips. And what I like to do is paper clip this book together so it doesn't shift. But I see one page is out of kilter. You gotta check yourself and check yourself again. Make sure you've got it all lined up because you don't want to have to take it back apart again. All right, so I've got that lined up in the center and I've got a template. If I can find it. I only have a few, see? <laughs> I saved them all. So I have this template that I made that marks the center of the journals and then about an inch and a half from each end I poked holes so this fits right down into the center of here and I like to punch my holes using a bookbinder's cradle this is my bookbinder's cradle I've got uh, pictures of it on my blog my husband made it for me per my request I looked at the bookbinders cradles online and they were so expensive and yet cardboard so I said I want one wood so I'm taking it all I'm going to go down the center because of this V it pushes all the papers together and ensures that you're getting that end the crease for your book pages so now I've got holes punched one two three All right, so the holes are punched and I've got some waxed linen thread. All right, so the holes are punched and I've got some waxed linen thread and I go one, two, and three. That's the links that I use and cut it off of the main spool because I find it's much easier to manipulate if it's not attached. I've got a book binders needle. This is a heavier gauge needle than like for yarn work, but you can use one. I'm going to start in the center and go to the outside and then up to the top, back to the inside. And then I hold the tail and then push down through the center. I'm on the outside of the book now. I'm going to go back through to the inside. 
and then I go underneath the top thread and pull these tight and then I tie two square knots one and two I'll trim off the excess then I have some little butterflies that I punched with the Martha Stewart punch and what I like to do is take a little bit of glue I've left it open and put a little glue on here and then I take the tail out of the book the string that was left over and then cover it down the center of the butterfly body and make a sandwich out of a second one and boom you've got a cute cover for the inside I couldn't find my little paw print or I would have used that but dogs like to chase butterflies so we'll put this in here I hope you're enjoying seeing me make a journal like this doing the stamping on there even the front cover that I made that could be a greeting card it doesn't have to be in a journal or a journal cover all right so as we go through here I'll add some more journaling cards and then I'll flip through and show you what we've done so here's the cover and what I will more than likely do is pick a piece of ribbon and just slip it underneath the thread there and tie it so that whenever someone gets it they can remove the ribbon and then just put it inside their traveler's notebook cover so here on the front I used several Brutus Monroe stamps I used my dynamo some washi tape I even able was able to get the dog definition and put it part of it anyway on the page here and then some washi tape and I did some sewing around the edge I also sprayed this with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist so it has a nice shimmer to it I used my chameleon markers to color and then inside I went ahead and glued down a scrap with this little best friends and I've got a scrap of the cover and that'll be a journal card right there this is a journal card that I made by stamping the Brutus Monroe stamps on here. It's a book page cover corner that I made out of a book page. This is a little book I made. And then there's a tuck spot in the back as well. Another Brutus Monroe card that I made in a tuck spot from the scrapbook from Deja Vu uh, was the scrapbook kit. Here's a tuck spot under this heart, little paw, there's a pocket on the coloring book page, the little card, another pocket, so this is just a eight, six by four inch and I just trimmed it like that. have a card that I made that is with stamping and fabric and lace and I think oh I missed one good thing I had some more here there's another one that I stamped so I'll just stick that there I'm going to add this one. This is a computer punch card, and while it doesn't have dog theme on it, I just like the color. It's all about adding the junk, isn't it? So there it is. There's the journal, all the pieces in there. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And, of course, find the Friendly Junk Journal people on Facebook. It's a wonderful group. It's a group I created because I wanted some friendly and fun people. So come along. We'd love to have you. And make sure you go to the Brutus Monroe Fan Cub so you can see the other images of that are available through Brutus Monroe and how the design team and fans use them. 
If you have any questions, please use that comment box below. Be glad to help you out with answering any questions. And of course, if you haven't already, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye.